For those of us in the Southern Hemisphere, we are now heading into our autumn. Well, of course, in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, you guys are heading into spring. Now, the shift from summer into autumn energy marks a time where we as humans need to be a bit discerning about where our energy flows and use it wisely. Just like trees shedding their leaves to let go of the old, we too need to consider letting go of too many commitments and focusing on ourselves and what we need at this transitional time. So how does autumn energy affect our dogs? Now, one of the things that you will notice for our dogs is that, our, that the temperature and daylight changes, of course, tend to cause metabolic and hormonal changes. Now, the amount of food required will change. For example, when the days are longer during the summer and the spring months, the brain signals for a smaller appetite and lower metabolic rate. Now, this is because the brain is assuming that because the days are a bit longer, there's going to be more time to eat. But when the temperatures start to be, uh, come, become colder and in those autumn months, the body's energy demands increase. Now the body needs more nutrients to maintain temperature. So in this situation, the brain signals for a slower metabolism and an increase in appetite. So you could expect your dog to want more food during autumn and winter. You may also notice with your dog that there is much more dryness with their coat, skin and paw pads, their mood may be lower, may become a little bit depressed due to less sunlight and potentially uh, shorter, darker days, maybe less exercise. And of course, there can be dry, stiff joints that flare up during the colder, drier time. Now, this is sometimes related also, also to less activity. For example, you might not be taking your dog out as much for exercise due to that colder or potentially wetter weather. When it comes to foods, how can we best support our dogs during the, winter, during the autumn season? Now, of course, you may choose to just continue to feed your dog the same way all year round. But focusing on certain foods depending on the season can really help nourish and keep your dog in a healthier, more balanced state through each season. Now, when it comes to autumn, Meats such as free range chicken and lamb are considered to be warming meats and therefore can be suitable to help strengthen the body during these cooler months. Of course, if there are allergies or intolerances to these proteins, please avoid them. In addition to feeding any good quality animal proteins, also consider things like root vegetables. Now in small amounts, root veggies are perfect in autumn. Now root vegetables um, such as beetroots, carrots, all have roots that reach deep down within the earth. Now, these roots anchor the plant to the ground, of course, which is its foundation for life. And in this way, root veggies can really help your dog align with the autumn season and stay grounded, calm and nourished as we settle into a slower routine and pace for autumn. Now, while veggies only form a smaller part of the diet, and yes, I know there are some of you out there that don't feed, uh, that choose not to feed any vegetables at all, which is fine. Root veggies can really be beneficial for all dogs during the cooler seasons. So consider carrots, sweet potato, celery, ginger, garlic, fennel, and beetroot. Now, while some of these can, of course, be given in their raw state, others like sweet potato, um, are better and more tasty when steamed and mashed through in your do into your dog's food. And speaking of roots, now when it comes to herbs, similar principles apply. Now there's um, a downward shift in nature's energy during these autumn months. This downward shift is used to help produce larger root systems. And when we use these roots as medicine, they are at this time at a higher nutritional and healing level, giving us more peak healing properties. So herbs such as marshmallow root, dandelion root, burdock root, astragalus root and licorice are all excellent herbs to consider during autumn. But of course, these can be used at any time of the year. Now also in adding in warming herbs and spices can help create internal warmth and improve your dog's circulation, along with reducing inflammation and stiffness. So keeping the circulation moving is important during these cooler months, especially if your dog is not as active or if they're an older dog that may not be able to move as well. So turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, thyme and oregano 
are all good choices here. And you can use these fresh dried or pounded versions of any of these and add them in small amounts into the diet a few times a week or even daily if you want in little bits. And what about other foods? Well, fruits like apples, pears and cranberries are great choices for autumn. Now, all of these are rich in nutrients such as antioxidants and can help provide immune gut and urinary support. Now, warming foods such as broth, of course, are also a great choice in the cooler months, especially if your dog has any sort of gut or joint problem. Now, the many nutrients in bone broth, including collagen and glucosamine, are naturally supportive of the joint and gut health. And of course, it's a nourishing, tasty food to add into your dog's diet. Warming it up a little bit when adding it can really make it taste better and it's very nourishing. And of course, guys, when it comes to any food, it's always best to feed what is in season where possible where you live. And this will mean that the food is at its peak nutritional state. Well, guys, I forgot to tell you it was Lindell from Canine Vitality, um, but you already know that. I hope you enjoyed this video today, guys, this short video. I hope you found this information uh, helpful. Don't forget also, as I um, posted in last week for my website um, and online store, if you're wanting to access that, jump on over to caninevitality.net.au, click on the online store tab, and then you can quickly set up a free account to log in and access all of my practitioner only formulas there, um, plus all the information about those. If you did like this video, guys, please give it a like and do share to get more content out there on YouTube. And I hope that you are having a great day. I will catch up with you in another video. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.